hey you guys I'm snacking I really wasn't gonna vlog until tonight but we're having a makeup day and I'm teaching Sarah how to do her makeup hey guys I'm like teaching her the fundamentals of makeup so I know don't look at my dirty beauty blender <laughs> we're having a really fun day like we've been doing this for like an hour it's not a girl's day yeah it's like a, it's like a girl's day it's so much fun but I had, we had to stop for a snack she's eating some yogurt mm -hmm. looks bomb I'm eating shrimp cheese because diet. Oh, I saw in my comments today for my first Vlogmas that you guys want a what I eat in the day, in a day video and that is actually one of my Vlogmas videos. So I think that's next week. I will show you her finished makeup look when we're done. My makeup look or is it going to be anything special, but it'll be fun. Okay, so we did Sarah's makeup. Come here, come closer. Um, this is what it looks like. You can barely sit on camera, but it's so beautiful. I'm loving it. And it's so glowy and it's so different from what she usually wears and I absolutely love it. And of course I just did my basic, my basic makeup that I always do. It's gorgeous. Ultra glam for no reason gorgeous. but to vlog. Um, but yeah, I think you look like JLo and like a golden goddess. So I'm really excited. I love this look. I can't wait for you to learn how to like do this yourself. And then we're, she's getting extensions. Yeah. So, oh, it's gonna look so bomb. I will be studying lines. I am meeting with an agent on Monday, so I am practicing and hopefully really just get all my lines down. And I mean, I have my lines down, but really like understand my character a little bit more. And that's kind of what I think I'll work on tonight. Maybe some homework because I like even forgot I was in school and hopefully get ready for this agent meeting. <sighs> what is up, you guys? Um, It's like 11 o'clock at night. It's 11 45. <sighs> and today has been a day. I don't know if I'm going out tonight anymore or not. I doubt it. I was supposed to, but I don't think that's happening. So today was like a really chill day. I've been at BJ and Sarah's all day. I worked on one of my projects. I watched, I binge watched like Damo, Chrissy, Trisha, and Shane all day today. And uh, what else did I do? Oh my gosh, besides teaching Sarah how to do her makeup, that was super fun. That's pretty much all I did. Oh, when I rehearsed that scene, I told you I was gonna rehearse for the agent. But today's like not very productive, but it's okay because it's Saturday, so like I'm giving myself a pass, it's cool. Um, but I don't know what we're doing the rest of the night because if we go out, it's gonna be in the next 15 minutes, but no one's home. So I think BJ will get home soon because he got off like half an hour ago. So he'll be home soon. And then, yeah, hopefully we're going out. And if we don't go out, I'm sure we'll get into something at the house because I took a nap today, like a two hour nap. And I'm tired still, but I could for sure like pump up the volume a little bit. So I'm super excited. Um, but right now I'm actually writing sketches for a project I am working on and I, I'm, I'm trying to get into comedy and I don't think a lot of you guys know this because of my channel is very fashion stuff. My passion is comedy and I haven't studied it. I haven't been putting it into practice. So it's one of those things you have to sit and ask yourself, well, if you love it and you're interested genuinely, why haven't you done anything to create that reality? That's like a lot of you guys coming to me saying you want to be plus size models and what have you done well guess what you've reached out to me you're proactive you're doing something same thing for youtube if you want to be a youtuber you've reached out you figured it out you watch youtube videos you're doing something and that's what stands that's what makes you stand out opposed to people who just say they want to do stuff but don't do anything so my and to like relate it back to me i want to do comedy i want to be in a sitcom i want to do that okay cool what have you been doing now to make that happen you write nothing so it's that kind of thing so right now I am um, I've been getting together the last couple days like ideas I wouldn't say days it's been like a month in the process but now I'm like really picking it up the last couple days um, learning how to create skits how what sketch comedy versus skits um, how to write a sketch pieces like sketch comedy those kind of Sorry, I had water and I don't know why water is giving me like indigestion, but it is. I'm learning fundamental things I should have already known. But I, I mean, I'm at the point where myself where I'm like irritated. I'm like, you're not getting any comedy work because you're not putting in any comedy effort. So my next goal is to, I have some goals for 2018. I want to get into a comedy school in LA. I want to continue expressing myself in comedy on a platform that I am currently using and 
really just get away from slapstick comedy because I feel like that's a lot of my comedy and really understand how comedy works. There's just like so many little things about comedy that you know I've, I've barely been learning now and if this is a career I want especially to be on like a sitcom that is my absolute dream I need to be prepared you know if I have an opportunity next month for and pilot season starts next month. So if I have an opportunity next month to go on audition and they're like, you barely have any comedy experience, that's only gonna be on me. So I don't want that. So I'm just gonna work hard. I mean, this is like kind of just, I guess I'm just preaching, but it's kind of like for any of you guys too, like the fact that you reach out to your favorite influencers and you reach out and you watch YouTube videos and you figure it out and you just try something, um, I'm proud of you for that because a lot of the time, people say they want to do something and put no effort to it and the fact that you even would reach out to someone watch a video put out a crappy video that you know isn't good but you're gonna learn from it i that makes me so proud of you if i had all the videos i've made public you guys would rip me to shreds they are so horrible but I'm blessed that I did that. I'm blessed that I went through that because through the horrible videos, I was able to see what's good and I was able to see what works for me as a creator and what doesn't work for me. And I encourage you to make the crappy videos, take the crappy pictures. Like my feed is just bad pictures right now, but I've recognized that last week and now I have a photo shoot coming up. So basically what I'm just trying to say here is, you know, it's okay to fail. It's okay to try something and fail. And trust me from personal experience from someone I know very well, trying something and failing will get you a lot further than doing nothing and trying to be perfect. And that is shade, but it's true. So I don't care. Put up the horrible video with the horrible edits, with the horrible lighting. Be you, be authentically you, love yourself. Be confident in who you are. Just be unapologetically yourself. And that's something I've been working on the last couple months. It's just being unapologetically me and doing whatever I want without needing to apologize for my choices. And that's something I want to encourage you guys to do too. And if you do have a dream, what are you doing right now to make that happen? Um, so yeah, I didn't mean to get preachy, but it happened. <laughs> but I'm going to wait for BJ to come home because I want to get into something tonight. I got my little dresses. I'm ready. Uh, I'm ready to look cute. My makeup's kind of done. You know when you take a nap and you're like on your face like this? Oh my gosh, makeup naps are like this always. Or like this. Cause I don't want to mess with my makeup. So I filmed a sketch and I had to like draw on a mustache. So I kind of like have a mustache on and a beard still, but I'll like wash my face, keep my eyes and my eyebrows, but like wash my face. I'm redo my makeup if we go out, but I don't want to do that if we don't go out. Cause y'all know, Makeup is so expensive, like I don't understand. I actually need a budget for my makeup. That blows my mind. It blows my mind. I'm not gonna talk. I could talk about makeup for the next half hour. But uh, I'll catch up with you guys when Beach gets home. I don't know. I'm gonna go, oh my gosh, wait, one more thing. So I bought, I okay, so I love grocery shopping by BJ's house because they're like different prices than mine by my house. Y'all, I got 10 avocados for six dollars and 20 cents tell me that's not insane the thing is most of them are like hard like that one's ready but all these are like rocks so that's why they were on sale oh this one's good i can eat this one in one monday that one's good um the reason i bought 10 is because i eat uh half a cup half avocado i eat half an avocado to one avocado every single day just it's part of my diet plan um and it's such an easy source of like healthy fats and um calories it's just it's a good it's a good like product of my diet it's a good staple in my diet i should say so i yeah i came to his store and they were 67 62 cents a piece and i was like it's because they were all hard so i was like put them on my bag and i need them to last until i go to baltimore because my i grocery shopped at his grocery store yesterday uh i bought everything i would need to make my groceries last until baltimore because i don't want to grocery shop again my biggest thing is like me in a grocery store is so dangerous because i i don't have a lot of willpower in the grocery store and that's why i was actually ordering my groceries for the longest time on amazon um they stopped delivery I, I, they stopped delivering to my house yesterday they sent me an email last month saying hey we're no longer delivering in your area i'm like that's stupid but it's okay. But yeah, I had to do that because it was so structured. Like when you grocery shop online, especially if you have like 
types of food addictions, which I definitely struggle with. It's so easy to just do exactly what you need and then get it shipped to your house. But me in a grocery store, I wonder, um, it's just a lot of temptation. And now I have great willpower. Like yesterday when we went to the grocery store, fine, it was cool. But a couple months ago, I would have, not even a couple months ago, maybe a month ago, I would have been like, and it's a cycle. And my thing is like, if something is on sale, I want it like a Dorito. Oh my gosh, I used to do this all the time. So Doritos would be like $1.99 a bag if you bought four or more or six or more. And what I do buy four or six. And like, I would justify it to myself like, oh, if I have people over, ain't no one coming over. Oh, I'll save it until something. They weren't saved. It would always be a bit, it would always end in a binge. Like Doritos are my number one food I must stay away from because they are my number one crack in kryptonite. I don't know what's in a Dorito, but that's my number one like oh my gosh like like it's literally like crack to me i don't know what's in it probably the msg or something but it's just like like my brain gets this high with doritos this sounds insane if you don't deal with food addictions or know anyone who deals with food addictions but um it's true it's 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 my reality i'm not gonna bore you with food anymore i don't even know why i'm in the, oh i'm in the kitchen because the lighting <laughs> beach it has a dark house but it's okay because we left him anyway um all right, so I'll talk to you soon. Hey guys, I'm with Gia. Hello, it's and you. the Sassy Truth, right? Yes, I am at the Sassy Truth on Instagram. Ah! I'm so excited! Literally, like, hello. I just ran into you and I was like, damn, who's this little mommy looking hella thick as fuck? And I was like, oh my god, that is superb stuff! Man, I'm so excited. We're about to go out. We're in West Hollywood. Yes. Super exciting, so. At the Abbey, we're about to turn up. Yes. So, we'll see you guys. Really now? I should smack you. We're back. Stairs, I hate them. So we're back. I'm ending the vlog here. I had a really rude interaction with a YouTuber. They're rude as shit. So see you guys later. <laughs>